one of the things that make this in or an instrument so unique is all of, all of the different sounds it has, not just from the classical organ, but across different genres of organ making, from the basic foundations of the organ sound. <laughs> theater organ inside it. And it has um, uh, all kinds of other things. It has uh, totally a Hammond organ. This organ essentially consists of this console, a massive bank of processors or computers, which of course are getting less massive all the time, and an enormous array of uh, deaf tech bipolar speakers, and two uh, thick pin rotary woofers which produce subsonic um, pitches, um, audible pitch down to four hertz. Uh, with this organ, um, all kinds of changes are possible, not just, um, not just dynamic changes, but also on-the-fly tuning changes. Organs were often tuned to make one or two or a few keys uh, e extremely beautifully sounding and very evenly tuned at the expense of other keys which uh, necessarily sounded off. And then, of course, in, with pipe organs, uh, you put an organ in a given tuning and it's impossible to change it unless you retune the whole organ. Let's say I want to play uh, the mean tone tuning. Here I am in E major, but I want to have it in F minor. And that F minor is nasty. So I simply put it into mean tone tuning in F. And now the sweet key, so-called, moves to F. And these, uh, meaning that G minor, of course, and now will be horrible. There's a really bad one. Uh, so these organs can do that. They, can mu they move not only the temperament, they move the sweet key of the temperament into any key. And they have, uh, of course, lots of different temperaments. Mean tuning is just one. Bellotti and Young, Kirnberger, Werkmeister, and, and other historical tunings that are really useful for the performance of early music. All of the white tabs here, uh, which have white you know, white controls, regardless of the color of their lettering, um, have to do with either flute, so-called flute stops, or principal stops, which are the native voice of the organ, and in pipe organs are produced by pipes that more or less look uh, like your typical organ pipe, such as those. But then, um, yellow stops are so-called string tone stops, which give us very beautiful, uh, sort of a warm sound, which has to do with multiple pitches at, at once instead of just one pitch. They're purposely slightly, uh, slightly out of tune. And you have pedal reeds here, too. And then these black stops switch uh, one keyboard onto another, and the gray stops move stops up and down in octaves. And this one shuts it off. So I can have different octave combinations. And the, the purple stops impart a tremulant. The blue stops are really revolutionary because they allow me to access scrollable menus here of, uh, you know, basically infinitely expandable arrays of other sounds that might be desirable, but which are not necessarily uh, part of the real estate of the organ. And of course, those scroll in real time, so I can use them while I'm playing as well as in preparing the combinations. Um, and those, w what these screens correspond to every division of the organ. Um, organists often 
criticize me because I, I want the organ to adapt to the organist. But to me, you know, the organ world can't have it both ways. You can't, on one hand, acclaim that some pipe organ is uh, the end-all and be-all because it can play all organ music, and then turn around and say, oh, but the organ should not adapt to the organist. We just were praising this pipe organ because it can do all of these things. <laughs>